the solar plexus an imposter syndrome? That's right. How to balance your solar plexus right here. That's your third chakra to combat imposter syndrome. The solar plexus is part of the nervous system. It helps you embrace sensitive qualities, being observant, right? Working with your third eye, being in your awareness, imagination, creation, generosity, joy, oh, so many things. Those are the key meanings associated with the solar plexus. But even deeper, the solar plexus has everything to do with your willpower. So if your solar plexus isn't balanced right, if your chakras are unbalanced and you're not in the direct harmony with them, that means that you allow others to take control of you. You're not in your personal power. It can be part of the intellect, right? Mental abilities. If you're not clear and focused, being aware, being in creation, trust and faith, your hyper-focused mental abilities may kind of feel crushed and that can bring on depression, anxiety, questioning oneself, sabotaging behaviors. So you wanna stand strong. You wanna make decisions, setting the direction for yourself, right? You want to have clarity of judgment. You want to have personal identity. So your willpower and your personal power have everything to do with your identity. If you don't feel strong, if you don't have self-esteem, you don't have self-confidence, your personal identity can be kind of low. So you, you're not, your ego isn't big, right? So you can feel like that little ball and you want to ball up in the corner, right? Um, it's your personality. So if your personality is not very strong, if you're not comfortable talking to people, building relationships, networking, getting on video, social media, you don't, you're not comfortable in your creation. You can't be comfortable in your passionate purpose. If you're not in passion, you don't have any sense of purpose or why, you haven't found your niche, you haven't found your avatar, you are not gonna make that profit. So you wanna strengthen your solar plexus, have self-discipline and independence. So you can be with your tribe, be part of the team, be part of the tribe, part of the community, but you wanna still have a uniqueness and a sense of independence. You know, sometimes to judge that, I like to see, can I be alone with myself? Can I have quiet time, clear my mind? be independent, have my own thoughts, right? And so the signs that your solar plexus is imbalanced. These are questions to ask yourself. Excessive control and authority over your environment and people. Are you taking too much control? Micromanaging, you know, the boss that micromanages wants to know where you're at, uh, wants to know your time on your phone calls, how much time are you on computer, constant documentation. You know, can't even get like a bathroom break, right? Or calling you on the phone if uh, you're an independent contractor and you're working for a company, constantly asking you questions, not trying to put you in the creation process, not making you part of the team or the mastermind. They're controlling you. Uh, maybe you're obsessed with details. Are you the perfectionist? You know, seeing life through a filter of negativity. You know, everything's bad. Everything went wrong. Uh, the clouds are dark. It's raining. I got a flat tire or, you know, Murphy's Law, right? You're, you're putting that ahead of yourself, right? So whatever you're thinking is correct. If you think you're wrong, you're wrong. If you think you're right, you're right. So where's your mind at? Are you manipulating other people? 
gaslighting them, talking them into to doing things that they don't need to be doing. Um, are you misusing your powers, right? We all have the power to be good, but you know, if we're forcing that thought or that good on other people and not allowing them to be their own unique unicorn, then you are taking their power away. We don't wanna do that. Self-sabotaging behaviors and feelings huge on the solar plexus. Willpower, personal identity, empowerment, joy, creation, without that strong solar plexus and that beautiful alignment within your chakras, you're gonna be in sabotage. You're gonna feel like a fraud. You're gonna feel like you don't own anything, like you can't get the job, you can't get the clients. That's your solar plexus talking to you. You wanna balance it, right? So it plays an important role in that self-confidence and self-worth, can't say that enough. So let's build the self-esteem. Let's build the self-worth. Let's open up your heart, open up your solar plexus, balance your chakras. I'm Nicole Borgi. I'm the Sabotage Smasher. Go to my website, sabotagesmasher.com. I invite you to go to my website and book a free discovery call. You know, we can get together and craft a plan for you to break through to brilliance. How does your solar plexus affect you? How to conquer that imposter syndrome?